Hello class! Welcome to today's math lesson. My name is Mrs. Lawson and I am so glad that you are joining me today. We have been reviewing this concept for a little while. Today's learning goal is to add two two-digit numbers together. And we've been practicing it on the board with some magnetic dimes and pennies. But today, we're going to use some real dimes and pennies to practice adding two two-digit numbers. So I would like for you to get some dimes and pennies so that you can do this right along with me. Today, we're going to be using some dimes and some pennies to do some double-digit addition problems. On this first question, it asks us to have 43 cents in dimes and pennies. So if I have 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43, and then I'm going to add 25 to that. So we're going to add 10, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25. Hmm. Well, when we add, we start with our pennies, and we're adding 3 plus 5. Well, some of you already know the answer to that. You know that it's 8. Some of you might need to actually count your pennies. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 3 plus 5 equals 8. And now we are going to add our dimes. We have 4 plus 2. Well, some of you already know your math facts and you know that 4 plus 2 is 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 43 plus 25 is 68. Well, let's count our cents. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68. Well done. Let's try another question. This question says 66. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66. We have 66 cents. And now we're going to add 18 cents. 18 is one dime and eight pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Well, now we're going to add this together. 6 plus 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We have 14 cents here. Hmm. May I write 14 in the pennies column? I can't, can I? I cannot have two digits in one column. I'm going to need to trade some of these pennies for a dime. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I am going to take off ten pennies and add a dime. I have put an extra dime on this side. How many pennies do I have left? Four. And now I have six plus one plus one more. Six, seven, eight. Let's count our money and see if we have 84 cents. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84. Well done. Let's try another question. Here, we are going to put out 49 cents with dimes and pennies, and I would like for you to do that as well. 10, 20, 30, 40, 
41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. 9 is 3 groups of 3. Well, now we're going to do 37 cents. I would like for you to get that out as well. 10, 20, 30. And now we're going to do 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Hmm, four groups of four. We have, if you know how to count by four, you could say four, eight, 12, 16. Or we could just count all of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Well, we cannot put 16, the number 16, in this column because there's two digits and we can only put one digit we are going to have to trade a group of 10 for a dime. So I'm gonna take off the 10, put it over here. Let's take off our 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 10. And I'm gonna trade it for another dime. So we have four plus the three plus our one more. 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 1 more is 8, 86. Well, let's count our money. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86. Let's try one of these. First, we're going to put down 44. 10, 20, 30, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44. And then we're going to do 46. 10, 20, 30, 40. 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. 4 plus 6. Hmm. <laughs> do you see that that makes a group of 10? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Well, can we put 10 in this one column? We can't, can we? We're going to have to take a group of 10 and move it over here. So we're going to put a group of 10 over here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we will put a dime there. Well, how many pennies do we have left? Zero. This kind of makes our 10. Do you see that we have a one here and a zero here? Four plus four is eight, plus one more is nine. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. 90, I'll erase this line so it's not confusing. We have 90 cents. Well, class, I would love for you to practice the next two questions all by yourself. Use some dimes and some pennies to help you. Oh, class, thank you so very much for learning with me today. I hope that you take some time today to practice and play with some coins. You could have a little store and you could have two items that you buy and you can add the cost of those two items together. You could count out the money and make sure that you have just the right amount. I hope that you have fun learning. Have a wonderful day class. Bye-bye.